Hey, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Bevo Devo, a.k.a. Corporal Bert, uh, head social media manager of the 3rd Ranger Battalion, Armor 3, Milsim Unit, and I am here today bringing you something a little out of the norm and very unprecedented in the fact that no one wanted this, but I decided that it would be a useful uh, portion of my time and knowledge to share this information with you, which is pretty much simply how to make a template in Eden for Zeusing you know, and that kind of behavior in Arma if you're interested in doing this. Now bear in mind, the scope of this is pretty much going to be relating purely to uh, my unit and the way we run our server and stuff like that, so it may not be applicable to everyone. Uh, this is pretty much kind of made as, you know, a little field manual for people who are interested in Zeusing within the 3rd Ranger Battalion, uh, which is the Arma unit that I'm in, uh, so I guess it's more applicable to them. However, I think a lot of it's general and basic, so it shouldn't be hard to understand and kind of use things uh, from there where I've gone. So, hope you enjoy, and hope this is helpful. So, making templates in Arma is pretty basic, it doesn't take a lot of steps, I mean it kind of depends on the scope you're doing for it, um, at least for the 3rd Ranger Battalion for doing it on this server and for hosting it a multiplayer. A lot of the settings are already refined and stuff like that, so you don't need to dick with any of it, so it basically comes down to about 7 steps. So, here we go. Step 1 uh, is pretty much going to be simple, which is decide your mission, like what you want to do. Like, kind of get an idea of the things that you want to, you know, that you expect to see happen, that you want players to be able to do, uh, and get out of this. Um, and, like, your theme, like, if you want it to be World War II, modern, Vietnam, etc., etc. Because once you have a bearing on that, that makes step two easier. So step two is going to be pretty simple as well. Um, essentially, it's just going to be to uh, pick what mods you want based off of what your scenario is. Um, and so that's an important step, obviously, because your mods are going to be what, you know, kind of provide the aesthetics for that mission. Uh, so, for example, let me switch on over here. So our unit in particular has a pretty large variety of mods that we use, um, and we have them all listed within here, um, of pretty much everything we use, and they're all categorized into what you want and whatnot like that. So pretty much, I mean, the gist of it is, if you're thinking of what you need, like, oh, I want to do a World War II op, well, then you go to the World War II tab and kind of scroll through and see what things you don't need. All of these... Uh, for us in particular, it's very convenient. You may not be like this, but we can just visit the uh, mod page on Steam right here and see what's going on with it. So, I mean, that's something to keep in mind if you don't have this kind of luxury, like outside of the unit for people who are like this, um, then you'll just kind of need to sort through your mods and go on the Steam page and look at it direct and see what you do and don't need. Um, so once you do that, we'll move on to the other part of this component, which is step three. Step three is going to be pretty simple, and that's just making a preset with all the mods you've kind of sorted through and gone through. So, first thing you're going to do is launch Arma, which will pull up the sweet, awesome, epic Arma 3 launcher. Once that's up, you'll slip to the Mods tab, which you've used before if you've played any modded servers or anything like that. Um, and so mine already loads up with 39 mods. These are just various mods and shit like that. So what you want to do is kind of just start, you know, selecting the mods. The order doesn't matter because the launcher is going to automatically put them in the right order. Um, so let's say, for example, I wanted to make like a uh, U.S. Army in the Middle East or something. Um, it pretty much goes something like this. So this is a pretty simple preset here. Um, we've got Essentials, which includes a whole bunch of mods that we use in every single op. Uh, that includes Ace, TFAR, um, all that good stuff. Uh, then we have RHA, RHS, um, pretty much all of them. Um, so we can get all our different sides and factions and stuff like that. Project Op 4, just for, you know, I like using that as, you know, various. Um, it's got a lot of good Op 4 AI and stuff like that, cool kits. But, you know, that's subject to your own uh, decision. Um, and then I just threw in Night Vision. I mean, this isn't a real preset, but, like, if I were making one, you know, quickly, the, the, you know, this is just a good example piece. Um, so then what you'd want to do, just so it's easier to go back to um, and find, is you can click up here in this preset stuff, and you can just go save. Um, you should probably hit save as so you can name it. Let me just show a demo of that. You know, you just throw a name, uh, demo BS. And then it's saved. So then I can scroll down, you know, click on a different preset. Oh, that's a cool preset. And then I just go down 
Oh, there's the one I just had. Um, so now we're going to move on to step four, which is going to be opening up Eden Editor, which is going to require you to launch Arma. Uh, and that's just, you know, play with mods and all that shit. You've done this before. So let's cut over there. Approximately 10 hours later. All right. So we finally loaded up Arma. Uh, and what we're going to do here is go single player tab and editor. Uh, that's going to open up the Eden Editor, you know. You, you, you may have messed around and explored this a little bit here. Um, and we're just going to open up Altus. All right, so now Altus is open. Here we are. Um, and what you're going to do here, and this is kind of top priority, um, just because it's kind of making sure you get your basics down. This is just the fundamentals. I mean, you can go from here and make structures and stuff like that, but we're not going to worry about that today uh, because that's not the scope of this. So you'll just want to find a spot where you want to spawn players um, oftentimes, if it's not an Altus map, I mean, we'll do it outside the map, you know, on these borders where it's land. Uh, but for the sake of this, we can just kind of put them anywhere. So we're just going to go and put them all on this fucking hillside. Doesn't matter. Um, I mean, it matters for the most part for the purposes of this demo. Um, so what you want to do is just pick the kind of faction you want to use. Like if, you know, they're going to be fighting blue four units and you go op four, if they're going to be fighting out four units and they're going to be blue for pretty basic stuff. Um, and you're just going to start selecting, um, you know, you're going to pick your forces. It doesn't really matter who you pick because you can change the kits and all that. It's all off for either way. But for the purposes of this, we'll just roll with NATO. Um, so what you need to do is place down like a relative shit ton of AI units down. Not really a lot, but on average, like, I guess it depends on what you're, you expect to see in your op our standard for the um third is going to be about you know 30 to 40. um i usually try and play somewhere in the realm of 30 because you never know um so let's grab a rifle squad because it's bigger um this is going to be eight people so we can just slap down four of those and get 32. uh control c control v the whole thing um and then what I do, because it makes life easier, is one, you want to make sure that the whenever you put down AI, uh, it's going to automatically make it player. You don't want that. That's just a nuisance. Then you're going to group all these together just because it saves time. So you don't have to click on each squad individually, I guess. In the end, eh, it's less time consuming. So now you've got all 32 of these or whatever um, in their own little squad. You're gonna click on Alpha 1-1. It'll be called whatever it's called, but that top box. Uh, and you're gonna scroll on down uh, to playable. That's gonna make it all, that basically fills in the slots whenever you load into the uh, server itself. Um, and then I, you know, we usually put riflemen or something and that's where you'd put it. Um, so it'll say right under that, that, hey, these are riflemen, so. Um, or whatever you wanna call it. I mean, you can be thematic about it if you wanna call them rangers. Uh, you know, Spetsnaz, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is pick a unit that's going to be the Zeus, which is going to be you in this case, since you're watching this video. Um, usually the standard is we put down two slots just in case. Um, I've never needed to have two slots, but I mean, you know, it's never bad just in case someone needs to hop in and, or do something or whatever. You never be too sure. Um, again, make sure it's not a player. Uh, don't hit cancel, hit OK, because that's how you have to confirm things in Arma. Um, go ahead and make both of these playable, same way we did before, call them Zeus. Um, and then this is where things get a little different. For the first guy, you want to change the variable name to Zeus1, for example. Um, you can really call it whatever you want, but Zeus1 and Zeus2 are the easiest. And if you didn't guess already, the second guy is going to be Zeus2. Um, and then the next step is you're going to go over to this modules tab or the systems tab, pardon, and you're going to pull out a module. Um, and that's going to be the game master under the Zeus tab here. Uh, you're going to slap down two of those. Um, I just control C, control, oh, yeah, control C, control V because it's easier. You're going to double click on those. And for owner, you're going to hit Zeus one for that one. And then Zeus two for this one. And then that basically ties this uh, AI to this game master slot and this one to that. So that way, whenever you load into Arma and you press Y uh, under the Zeus slot, you have Zeus abilities. So the, I guess seventh, I feel like I've lost count along the way of this, but you kind of get the point. Maybe when I do this in post, I'll have a better count of it. But the final step is gonna be pretty simple. 
uh, as well. I mean, all of these are simple. It's just, if you don't know, you don't know. And that's, you're just gonna take a marker. Uh, it can be really anything. I prefer to use the respawn one, just so, cause it's, this is for respawn. You're gonna double click on it. And then in the variable name, you're gonna call it respawn west, underscore west. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna basically call this to be uh, a custom respawn point, which for in our case is gonna be in the server settings. Um, if you're hosting this personally, you'd have to change that in the settings, but that's not the scope of this video, so we're not gonna get into it. Um, for op four, it's gonna be respawn east, and then independent, it's gonna be respawn gorilla. And it's all with that underscore. Um, and then usually I go ahead and take alpha down to 0%, so that way it doesn't show up on the map, but it's there, right there. Um, when you're making the template, maybe it's best to keep that alpha regular, and sometimes it's fine to keep it on the map. It doesn't really matter too, too much. Um, but there you have it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, this is the core and the basics. From here, you can start going and being like, oh, well, I want to go ahead and fucking put a uh, big old house right here, and then another big house here, and then fucking, you know, some barricades here and all that shit and then just make this whole compound and you know this is san francisco now um so but without doing any of this you like you want to do all of this first just so you can get that barrier you know that the the the, the essence of a template out of the way because without any of this it doesn't matter you know how much of san francisco you create in your time because no one will be able to play it um and again all of this is specific to what my unit does um this is kind of designed for people who are wanting to get interested in Zeusing within uh, our unit. But if you know if you found any of this helpful or whatever, let me know. And if there's you know something I missed or something that's unique to you, you have a question, feel free to let me know. In the meantime, that's going to be it for this. Um, I may do a couple more of these videos, uh, kind of stuff like this, maybe general about Zeusing, maybe some about uh, different mods and stuff like that, and you know, like going to Ace Medical, all that kind of shit. Uh, but for now, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, the only other steps from there I can't really go into detail about, just because they're specific to Zeusers themselves. Um, again, the scope of this video is for people who are wanting to Zeus within my unit. Um, so a lot of that is going to be, you know, dependent on, they'll have a, uh, you know, someone to accompany them and help them with the rest of the steps. Regardless of all that, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I have all these links below my discord and Twitch and, you know, funny things like that. Uh, if you know, you want to see all that. And I'm also including a link to, uh, our units website below if you're interested at all in joining. So you know, that way you can get all the information and stuff you need if you want it. Anyhow, have a good one.